uh, Marina, Marina Phillips. Welcome, hey. Marina, to the stage. Yay! Thank you so much for having me. Yes, hello everyone. Yes, my name is Marina. And uh, just a little bit about myself. Um, I'm an acting graduate. I've come out the other end of the acting course. Yay. I've been processed. Hey. Yes. Hey. And uh, hey. <laughs> I've uh, now failed as an act professional actor. So I thought I'll try my hand at being a children's entertainer. And I failed at that. And so now I'm a stand-up comedian. <laughs> Yay! Hey. Hey. At, this, at this point, it's just a, it's not even a career choice. It's just a desperate cry for help. <laughs> you, you could become a sit-down comedian if this fails. Well, Woo! I'm on a sit -down. chair. I'm already there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you know, but I've had a lot of interesting experiences as a freelance creative, or as I like to think of it, hot mess. <laughs> that's a professional hot mess to you actually that's on my job description on my cv and yeah my first job upon leaving university was i worked at a children's adventure park and farm Woo! very, Ooh. Yeah, very fancy it sounded we did some really oh yeah at this point i feel legally i need to tell you that it was um a day out for children we didn't actually steal your children and, and farm them for legal reasons i have to explain that <laughs> children's farm sounds a bit dodgy well, it, does, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a family day out okay honest don't check don't check the records yeah, i'm worried now <laughs> <laughs> and uh, i was in, um, employed for my entertainment skills and uh it had to do some really really highbrow stuff you know really highbrow you know wait for it i had to dress up as a drum roll fairy yeah Ooh. i was a fairy didn't have any wings still upset about that and uh i had high hopes for this place for this job i really did i wanted to be like elsa i was like i'm blonde i really want to be a disney princess i want to be like elsa but you know, let it go, let it go. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I said to my hopes and dreams. <laughs> so the awkward thing about where I work, because unlike Disney, where everyone knows who else it is and all the other Disney princesses, I worked for a place that was based on a book that no one had heard of. And my character was from the second book. They never wrote the second book. <laughs> <laughs> So I, my character had a bit of an identity crisis. <laughs> Maybe that's why I play her. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> <laughs> Interacting with children and the parents as they walked through our doors, you know, is the it made it really difficult. It went a little bit like this. Greetings, fairy travellers, and welcome to my humble abode. La 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> they sort of look at me and they look a bit confused and they go uh, sorry uh, who are you <laughs> and this is a really hard question for me to answer because, uh, i wasn't given a character description so i don't know who i am so I sort of have to improvise at this point. It gets a bit tricky. I have to sort of go, uh, who am I? <laughs> um, uh, who are you? Uh, why is the sky blue? Why is a building called a building if it's already been built? <laughs> it's a bit of twice. But what happens to you? What is the colour of a human soul? Do I exist? Please <laughs> someone help me. <laughs> oh dear. and i look up from what i think quite frankly has been an oscar winning performance and the parents are looking very concerned for my well-being and the children are looking a little bit traumatized and i'm like oh sorry you wanted to know where the toilets were oh the the, the toilets are that way could you just give me a five stars on TripAdvisor? yes 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 uh, no, okay, I'm dying. <laughs> but you know, sometimes I try and mix it up. I did try and be good at my job, honest. 
Mm. And sometimes I like to greet the children with bubbles. We make the bubbles on site. So I'm a bit of a bubble making expert. Don't mean to toot my own trumpet there, but toot toot. <laughs> <laughs> bubble making expert. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. It's a skill, okay? But obviously this is a fairy recipe that has been passed down from millennia to millennia. So some of the ingredients are a little bit weird. They start quite normal, but they get a bit weird. So you have fairy liquid, you have water, you have baking powder, and powdered loo. <laughs> you did hear that last one right. It thickens up the mixture so the bubbles last longer. Now you know, fairy secret for you all, useless trivia. And, uh, you know, it gets a bit awkward, though, because I had my fairy in training with me and I had to teach her how to make the bubbles. But there's children around who have to keep things PG now, don't we? Eh? So I'm like going, well, <laughs> here's the water and you put in the fairy liquid and you put in all the um, you put in all the other ingredients. And then you put in the. Um, uh, <coughs> Sorry, Marina, I didn't quite catch that last ingredient. Uh, what was that? You know, <laughs> the, uh, pa, uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, catched on, yeah, yeah. No, I still don't understand, Marina. Um, could you just say that again? Oh, you put in the powdered blue. I just realised that every single parent with a 10 mile radius has just turned around and is now staring at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're working with kids, <laughs> and that's how I got fired from my first job. So I thought, as I'm so good with kids, apparently, I would become a children's entertainer. What could possibly go wrong? And I thought to myself, you know, let's do, I know that parents love to give their children these horrible, disgusting things called birthday parties. <laughs> but basically, the parents drink Prosecco and chat, and I take responsibility for 20 hyperactive <laughs> children for two hours. <laughs> it's great. It's really fun. And uh, I had this one party. I dressed up as a cat, and I got on the train to Peckham, so that was fun, got a bit lost, turned up at the party very stressed. The child was very hyper, wouldn't talk to me, and hid in a tree for most of the party. So I thought I need to really sort this out. I need to sort this out. I'm going to do some balloon modelling. That will be great, won't it? And I do do a bit of balloon modelling. I'm just going to change my camera angle here. Got my balloon model here. This is a pirate sword. <laughs> it's a pirate sword. <laughs> Don't know why you're all laughing at that. That wasn't funny. <laughs> And, uh, My amazing object. <laughs> I had this one small child come up to me and say, could I have a pirate sword, please? And I said, of course you can, little Johnny. I gave him the sword, and in front of all of the adults, <laughs> he began to slowly turn the sword upside down. <laughs> and I was going, don't do that. And my face in slow motion was going, no, don't do it. And in front of all of the adults, so it's obvious that it's me who's given him the sword. He then goes, the lady gave me a penis. Look, everyone. Look, look. <laughs> and I'm going, no, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> At this point, I only have three options, okay? I can either just stand there and pretend it's not happening, ground, swallow me up, or I can run after him and try and grab the sword back. But then he may start yelling, she's touching my willy. And you don't want to do that at children's party. I get into a lot of trouble there, aren't I? So I did the only logical thing I could do, really, instead. And I joined the parents and drank Prosecco instead. So, uh, <laughs> balloon sword, anyone? <laughs> this was a live gig. I'd chuck it at a very uncomfortable audience member. <laughs> 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 Well, I've kind of failed at all my um, creative endeavours so far. If anyone would like to hire me for a stand-up comedy gig, that is just stand-up, nothing else. Naughty. Um, that'd be great. <laughs> uh, I'm doing pretty well right now. Thank you so much for having me and listening to my... This has just been a therapy session. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs> Fabulous. Yay! Yay! Marina, thank you so much, lovely.